Hello, everybody. Uh, today we're going to talk about free space loss. So, what is free space loss? Well, let's assume that we have a transmitter over here. And it's transmitting to some receiver over here. And of course, uh, the transmitter and receiver are going to be separated by some distance. And uh, so today we're going to use the English unit, so we're going to put distance in miles. And let's, for example, say that it's two. Th Hello, it's two thousand miles between the transmitter and receiver. Uh, so the question is, is is, is what is the signal received at this receiver that's generated from this transmitter separated by this distance? Well, one of the important characteristics of transmitters is frequency. And uh, today, uh, because uh, this is the way I learned it, we're going to put frequency in gigahertz. All right. So uh, I'm going to give you a formula, and I will leave it to others to uh, derive it for you. So the free space loss in dB is equal to some constant, 96.6, .6 plus 20 times the log of the distance in miles plus 20 times the log of the frequency in gigahertz. Now let's look at this and see if it looks kind of logical. Uh, what this tells you that is the distance increases, the losses increases. And, and this constant above the log says that as the distance doubles, the loss increases by the square of the distance. And that's kind of intuitive, right? In other words, uh, if you're one mile away from the transmitter, it's going to be somewhat less if you're two miles. And it's going to be less than that if you're four miles away. So this is a pretty intuitive uh, term here. And what's less intuitive is, is that the frequency, but also this piece of the equation says that as the frequency increases, so do the losses. So let's give an example. Let's assume our satellite over here is, uh, is transmitting on a frequency of point Four three gigahertz, and let's also assume that the distance d is two thousand miles. So we'll plug this thing in so that the free space loss is equal to ninety six point six plus twenty times the log of 2,000 plus 20 times the log of 0.43. If you do the math, this says that uh, the loss is minus 155 uh, dB. So let's kind of review this. If we we have a, a radio over here that starts uh, that starts at one watt or 30 dB, it will lose 155 dB traversing this 2,000 miles. So my recommendation is you commit this formula to memory. Radio engineers, this is one of the tools that you should put in your toolbox 
and it you will use every time you think about budgets, link budgets, and radio paths. 